It's a form of energy we cannot see. Heat sources are things that give off their own heat. Sources can be natural, like volcanoes or the sun, or man-made, like hair dryers in the oven. When the sun is shining down and you're sweating in the street, that's energy in motion. Yeah, you're feeling that heat. Heat's key property is it moves from hot to cold. Now there's a story to unfold. Temperature and heat are not the same. Don't get it twisted. Temperature is a measurement of the degree of hotness of something. Temperature is measured in degrees. Heat is the amount of thermal energy in something. It depends on two things: temperature and the volume. When the sun is shining down and you're sweating. That's energy in motion. Yeah, you're feeling that heat. Heat's key property is it moves from hot to cold. Now there's a story to unfold. Heat transfer is affected by type of material, size of the surface area, and the color of an object. Different materials conduct heat differently. Poor conductors of heat are materials that do not allow heat. To flow through easily, air, plastic, and wood are poor conductors of heat. Good conductors of heat allow the heat to flow through easily. Metals like copper, iron, and steel are good conductors of heat. Heat will also flow faster if the object has greater exposed surface area with its surroundings. This is because the object will lose heat faster through the larger surface to its surroundings. And rough surface absorb more heat. White, white and shiny surfaces absorb less heat. When the sun is shining down and you're sweating in the street, that's energy in motion. Yeah, you're feeling that heat. Heat's key property is it moves from hot to cold. Now there's a story to unfold. When a matter gains heat from a heat source, it will expand and take up more space. Temperature will increase unless it's melting or boiling, and it remains constant through this process. Feel hot can melt or boil or evaporate depending on its state. When a matter loses heat to its surroundings, it will. Contracts and occupy less space. Temperature will decrease. Feel cold can freeze or condense. When the sun is shining down and you're sweating in the street, that's energy in motion. Yeah, you're feeling that heat. Heat's key property is it moves from hot to cold. Now there's a story to unfold. Railway lines and city streets are built with gaps in place. So when the summer sun beats down, they expand with grace. It stops the cracks and buckling too. A clever trick the builders do. Pipes that carry liquids have bends at the joints. It seems to flex and move with heat or cold, just like an engineer dreams. They stretch and shrink, but never break. Designed for any temperature they may take. And when things expand or contract from gaining heat or loss, the mass remains the same throughout. Don't believe me, ask the boss. When the sun is shining down and you're sweating in the street, that's energy in motion. Yeah, you're feeling that heat. Heat's key property is it moves from hot to cold.
close from the hotter region to a cooler one until both are the same temperature.